Seizures seem to be an inherent risk of having a human brain. In fact, almost all mammals uh, experience seizures. What's interesting is that the brain typically protects itself from the onset of seizures. So in people with epilepsy, there appear to be windows of time where those internal mechanisms that, that prevent parts of the brain from tipping into seizure are, are, are worn away. They're, 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 there are windows of opportunity for seizures to emerge. Sometimes people uh, notice their seizures associated with certain moods or, or being tired. Um, and my project is really looking at what it is inside the brain that makes seizures possible at all. So this is really fundamental research. Um, the goal here is to find tractable features of the brain, um, features of that mechanism that we can intercede with. So developing new methods for um, uh, new therapies, uh, new uh, medications that will improve the overall quality of life of people with epilepsy, not just preventing seizures in people who are prone to having seizures. So I'll be using a technique called photometry. So this is a uh, method where we uh, collect fluorescence signals uh, from molecules that we bind to signals within the brain. So as the brain uh, releases these signals and communicates with itself, uh, we'll be able to collect that change in fluorescence uh, using tiny, tiny optic fibers implanted in the brain. And we can then start to directly measure how those, uh, how those signals are, are changing over time with respect to each other. And we can correlate that with how uh, regions of the brain are behaving and we can start to build up the rules of how those changing signals give rise to these windows where seizures are, are possible. So this funding allows early career researchers like me to pursue a project that's dedicated to a specific topic that allows me to um, look at these sort of long-term fluctuations within epilepsy um, in an environment that is sort of extremely dynamic, extremely um, uh, collaborative. We're very grateful to uh, the Epilepsy Research Institute. Uh, its organisation and the people that raise money for it make research like this possible, though it wouldn't be possible otherwise.